So what is turtle diagram? So turtle diagrams allows you to look at the entire process as well as the communication and the mapping of interrelated processes with relevant functions and the levels within the organization. So in this video, we're going to look at what is turtle diagram and what are different elements of a turtle diagram. Don't forget to like, comment and share with all your friends as well. And in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe as well and do hit that bell icon as well for all the notifications for digital e-learning on my upcoming next videos. So what is turtle diagram? A turtle diagram is a great tool for visualizing the process characteristic. It was first introduced by Phillips Crossby. Phillips Crossby worksheet was built on the traditional SIPOC diagram that is supplier input process output and customer. And if you look at the turtle diagram, it is more like a turtle which is has body of a turtle with components of body, legs, head and tail. So let us see how to use this turtle diagram. So we will have a turtle diagram. We will first construct a turtle here. Then we will create the input. So this category defines the detail of actual process including like documents, raw materials, information or requirements. Then we have the output. So here we enter the actual process output such as product, documentation, records. In between we have the process which is the center of a diagram. This box address the value adding, adding steps and any sequence that falls within the scope of a process. Process may involve many employees and multiple departments within your organization. Next is the method or how it is done. Then we have the resources who are actually going to work on this including skill, their competency, training requirement. Then we have the measurement or what results we have. It could be in the form of performance indicators. So in this case we need to enter the measure of a performance effectiveness such as objectives, target, key performance indicators. Then the other thing we have the resources in terms of what equipments or materials you need. So here you need to enter the machine details, materials, test equipment, so systems, softwares, hardware, all that stuff. Using this turtle diagram is quite simple. It is quite similar to SIPOC diagram. Here, the turtle diagram is made up of six areas all surrounding the process which is considered to be the turtle body. The six areas here are input, material, equipment like what you need, support process, procedures and methods how and outputs and competency skills and trainings whom and finally the performance indicators in the form of results. So why do we need this turtle diagram? Is there any ISO requirement or any other standard requirement? So there is no requirement for organization to develop this turtle diagram. So in the requirement of ISO 9001 clause 4.1 states that the organization shall identify the process needed for QMS and the application throughout the organization and determine the sequence and the inter interaction of these process. There may not be a requirement specifically for turtle diagram but the turtle diagram in may in fact help many organizations meet the requirement for organizations to determine and manage numerous linked activities to enable the transformation of input into output. And this turtle diagram can help both management as well as the workforce better understand the process. Diagram helps lay out the framework in an easy way to follow a fashion and can identify gaps in the organization structure. That is why when diagram is laid out, the organization can further develop measures to for better efficiency. Now you can follow digital e-learning on other social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Telegram, Facebook and Twitter and link for all these social media platforms is given below in the description. You can check out those and you can follow us on all these social media platforms from all the updates from digital e-learning. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with all your friends and colleagues and do comment below. Your comments are really motivating. Thank you. Thanks for watching Digital e-learning. Have a fantastic day ahead.